Greetings everyone! Time for another installment to the Discrete Audio Amplifier Build Project. Got a whole bunch of parts in here and I really want to give my Patreon supporters a big thumbs up because you guys bought this stuff for me. Yep, you guys purchased all of these items for me. I didn't use any of my own money. Well, I did go over a little bit because, well, I needed some parts, so big thank you for that. And I will put a list up. Uh-oh, we have a bench marauder. Not actually on my bench. You might notice the difference in the acoustics in this room. I'm actually in my front room. And, uh, of course, Snickers has to get involved. Hey, but we'll let him hang out here. So what I want to do here is kind of bring you up to date and uh, take a look at these parts. I bought enough parts to do some prototyping and you know if this thing does turn into a kit I hope that the amplifier is good enough in my opinion that it, I can move on to a kit. So a question you might be asking how long is this project going to take? You started this back in July. Well, as long as it needs to take. I'm not in any hurry on doing this. And like I said before, I want to mix other videos in. I don't want my channel to be totally dedicated to this. I want to do other videos, kind of spread it out. Getting the amplifier up and running, first prototypes, I think that'll happen before the end of the year. You know, I need to do some more videos. The next video I'm going to do in this series will be the output stage and the voltage amplification. Um, those stages kind of work together, so I probably will put them together in one video. Of course, my videos end up being long, and I might have to you know, break it into a couple different videos. But once we get that done, then I can start building a prototype and talking about negative feedback and uh, the compensation that has to be done with the amplifier and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. So the first parts here are just some capacitors. These are the onboard supply bypass. 220 microfarads should do the job. Uh, just grab some stuff at random. Oh, these are, I bought these for other uses. These are any 5534s. They're just the single op amp in a chip. Rather than the any 5532s, which are dual op amps, these are just single. Because sometimes I have projects where I don't need a dual op amp IC. Not really part of this amp project, though. But maybe a future preamp project whole bunch of these ceramic capacitors uh, a lot for trying different compensation values I bought a whole bunch of film resistors a hundred each of each value I needed but I ran into a problem if you notice these they look like eighth, one eighth of a watt but they're listed as a quarter watt what happens is I uh, got the wrong ones. They're the RNMFs, and somewhere there's the regular size. You know, these here are regular size quarter watts, and they're just RNF. So I made a boo boo ordering these. I'm going to keep them. I mean, you can always use them. Metal film resistors, they can take some extra heat but they're asking this small form factor here to dissipate a quarter watt max rather than uh, the normal eighth watt size I guess they can take it but anyhow I want to get the proper size uh, film capacitors which will be used in multiple positions in the amplifier uh, has some larger size here, uh, 2.2. These are fast recovery diodes. 
going to use them across the output stage. What those do is they're called catch diodes. So if you're driving a inductive load and you say you have a, a relay or something that opens, what can happen is you get a spark, an inductive kickback, which can produce a high voltage across the output transistors, which could damage them. So I want to have those on the amplifier just as a form of protection. A um, whole bunch of resistors. I got all kinds of values. And Snickers is <laughs> on some of my parts there. Um, these are the output transistors I decided to use. These are the uh, 2SA, wait a minute, the 2SC5200 and 2SA 1943s. I decided to use those. Some people will say, oh, there's better transistors. Yeah, maybe, but these are very good gain linear. Uh, I will use them in the project. You can certainly use other transistors. More capacitors, electrolytics, 100 microfarads. Trying to minimize the use of these in the amp. Of course, they'll be... Uh, decoupling across the rail along with film or ceramic caps but there'll be a couple other places in the amplifier that will use them so there's only going to be four in the entire board so try to minimize the use of those I got these uh, what are they BD 139s and 140s this will make driver transistors. Um, emitter resistors on the outputs. 5 watt 0.22 ohm. Ceramic type resistors. Now oh, these are the BD140s. Uh, here's one thing I wanted to mention. I did make a change in the uh, small signal transistors that are used in the input stage and some are used in the voltage amplification stage. Uh, I switched to uh, 2N5401s and 2N5551s. I had in the input stage the KSC 1845s. Well those are very good transistors but these will allow me to use the same transistors in more parts of the amplifier that'll keep the bill of material simpler these are very nice gain linear transistors that work good in amplifiers uh, 2SA 1943's uh, these are the 5551's uh, more ceramic caps make sure I got a hundred volt versions for the amplifier. What are these? Oh, 10 ohm 2 watt resistors. Yeah, that's about it. Just a bunch of various parts for the amplifier. I did forget to get a trimmer. I'm going to have to go back and order a trimmer. And I, I want to buy the proper size resistors. They'll still be quarter watt ones, but I'll get the proper sized ones. So I have to go back and get those and get the trimmer I need to get. I think there's something else I forgot. Well, that's about it. Just wanted to update you on what's going on with the AMP project. So it is moving along. I got these parts in. And like I say, I really appreciate the Patreon support, which bought these parts. I do apologize. haven't been putting up a lot of videos frequently. It's just... I've been very busy with work. Last week I worked through the entire weekend trying to catch up so hopefully I can uh, get some more videos up. Well that's it from Snickers and I on the John Audio Tech channel. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.